Welcome to the CSUN video learning module on ionic and molecular compounds. My name is Simon Garrett. In this video, we'll get some practice on identifying ionic and molecular compounds, the two basic types of compound discussed in this class. Remember, ionic compounds are made of combinations of ions, either monatomic ions formed from a metal and nonmetal atom, or oppositely charged polyatomic ions. Molecular compounds are composed of only nonmetallic elements joined by covalent bonds. You won't need a calculator, but a periodic table will make things easier. You should review your notes and text before starting these examples. Here comes your first question. Question 1. Identify each of the following as an ionic or molecular compound. NaCl, MgO, CS2, Fe2O3, and H2O. Pause the video here and decide. Okay, the first substance is an ionic compound. It's made of ions formed from a metal, group 1 sodium, and a nonmetal, group 7 chlorine. MgO. Again, this is an ionic compound made of oppositely charged ions from an alkaline earth element, magnesium, and a group 6 element, oxygen. Carbon disulfide is a molecular compound because it's made of two nonmetal elements, carbon and sulfur. The atoms are connected by covalent bonds. Fe2O3 is ionic. It contains the symbols for metallic element iron, forming the positive ion, and non-metallic element oxygen, forming the negative ion. H2O is water, and it's a molecular compound because two non-metallic elements are combined. Be careful, although H is usually drawn on the left side of the periodic table, it's not a metallic element. Question 2. Identify each of the following as an ionic or molecular compound. C6H6O BABR2, PCL5, NaOH, KNO3. Pause here and think about your answers. The first substance is a molecular compound. Although it contains three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, all are nonmetals. There are no ions in this compound. Barium bromide is an ionic compound made from metallic barium ions and non-metallic bromine ions. Barium is in group 2 and bromine is a halogen. For ionic compounds, the chemical formula is called the formula unit. PCL5 is a molecular compound made of non-metallic elements only. NaOH. At first sight, you might say that this was ionic because it contains a metal, sodium, and non-metals, oxygen, and hydrogen. And you'd be right. But probably not for the reasons you are thinking. Sodium is a metallic element for sure. But all ionic compounds in this class contain only one type of positively charged ion and one type of negatively charged ion. Sodium forms the positive sodium ion. So which is the negative ion? Oxygen? Hydrogen? Actually, it's both. The OH group is charged as OH minus a polyatomic ion called hydroxide. KNO3 is an ionic compound like the previous case. The positively charged ion is the potassium ion, K+, and the negatively charged ion is another polyatomic, NO3-, called nitrate. It's vital that you get into the habit of looking for one type of positive ion and one type of negative ion in the formula unit. Don't try to pull this apart into three ions, a K+, O2 minus, and H plus. Because ionic compounds made of polyatomic ions are more difficult to spot than those made only of monatomic ions, let's try some more. Question 3. Identify each of the following as an ionic or molecular compound. NiSO4, NH4I, FeOH three times, H2SO4, NH4 twice, CO3. Pause here and work out your answers. The first substance is an ionic compound composed of a positive nickel 2 plus ion and a negative SO4 2 minus ion called sulfate. 
Electrostatic attractions hold the two parts together. This one is strange. Is this even ionic? All the atoms are non-metals, right? Actually, it is ionic. It's made of a positive ion, a cation, ammonium, NH4+, and a negative ion, the anion, iodide I-. -minus. Again, it's crucial to view chemical formulas, or in this case formula units, in terms of common polyatomic ions like ammonium. Whenever I see NH4 written in a formula unit, I always think of ammonium, never of nitrogen and hydrogen as separate ions. FeOH3 times is another ionic compound made of an Fe3 plus ion, the ferrous ion, and three individual OH minus or hydroxide ions. The hydroxide ion is a common polyatomic anion. H2SO4. This is a special type of molecule. All molecules that start with H are considered to be acids in this class. An acid makes H plus ions when dissolved in water. But the atoms are all non-metals, and although it's tempting to see a sulfate ion here, SA42 minus, all acids are classified as molecular compounds. This is another ionic molecule made of polyatomic ions. The positive ammonium ions, the two NH4 plus units, are attracted to one carbonate, CO3 2 minus unit, and the compound is held together by electrostatic attractions. Again, get used to picking through chemical formulas looking for common polyatomic ions. For our last two questions, we'll do something different. We'll think about ionic or molecular compounds based on their physical and chemical properties. Identify each of the following as an ionic or molecular compound. A solid that does not conduct electricity. An odorless liquid. A very high melting point solid. A solid that dissolves in water to make ions. And a solid that dissolves in water but the solution does not conduct electricity. Pause the video here and write down some answers. The first statement is not enough to identify the compound. Neither ionic nor molecular compounds conduct electricity as solids, so we can't tell. By the way, ionic solids that have been melted to form liquids do conduct electricity. Most liquids are molecular. The odorless part is irrelevant. While solids may be ionic or molecular, ionic solids tend to have very high melting point because the attraction between the ions is generally large. A solid that dissolves to make ions is probably ionic. There is a special type of molecular compound that dissolves to make ions too. These are acids. If the solution made when the solid dissolves does not conduct electricity, it's not, it does not contain ions and must therefore be a molecular compound. The only exception to this rule we need to be concerned with in this class are acids. These are molecular compounds that behave like ionic compounds when they dissolve. This means acids, like HCl, are molecular compounds, but they make ions in solution. Hence, acid solutions also conduct electricity. Last one. Question 5. Identify each of the following as an ionic or molecular compound. An oily liquid. A gas that dissolves in water to make an acid solution. A waxy solid, a solid that dissolves in water to make a solution that conducts electricity, and a gas that smells like rotten eggs. Pause the video here. Ready? The first substance is a molecular compound. Molecular compounds tend to be gases if they have few atoms, liquids if they have more atoms, and solids if they have many atoms. This could be mineral oil, made from carbon and hydrogen atoms only. A gas immediately tells us that this is a molecular compound. Remember, acids are special. They make ions and their solutions conduct electricity even though they are molecular compounds. A waxy solid. Since ionic solids tend to be hard, this soft or waxy solid is probably molecular, like candle wax, for example. A solid that dissolves could mean ionic or molecular but only solutions containing ions conduct electricity, so this is probably an ionic compound. 
Remember, it could also be an acid, molecular compounds that ionize in water. Gases tend to be molecular compounds with small numbers of atoms. This one is probably H2S, which smells like rotten eggs. So how was it? Let's review. Ionic compounds are formed from the combination of metallic and non-metallic elements, or the combination of polyatomic ions. Ionic compounds tend to be hard, high melting point, and boiling point solids. Not all ionic substances dissolve, but if they do, ionic compounds dissolve to make a solution that contains ions, and so they conduct electricity. Sodium chloride is an example. Molecular compounds are formed from non-metallic elements only. Molecular compounds may be solids, liquids, or gases, depending on the number of atoms in the molecule. If they dissolve, molecular compounds do so without making ions, and so do not conduct electricity. Sugar is an example here. Acids, whose chemical formulas start with H, are special cases. They are molecular compounds, but they dissolve to make ions, and their solutions conduct electricity.